Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how to implement ADA.NET CRUD operations using .NET Core 7.0 Web API. In my previous session, I saw how to implement ADA.NET. If you missed this session, I will give the video link in the i button as well as the video description. Please check it out. In today's session, I am going to show how to implement complete CRUD operations using adio.net and in the next session i am going to show how to implement crud operation with adio.net using store procedure so guys please stay tuned and if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification let's get started so for today's session i am using visual studio 2022 I am going to create a new project which is a .NET Core Web API project and it is going for the, I am going ADO Road 7.0 Okay, now keeping on next I will keep out 7.0 standard and for now I am not need of HTTPS keeping controller in the open API or Swagger support. Let's create. Then after creating, we need to add a new get package which is system.data.sql client. And my database is this one ytdb. And I have a table called tbl product which store the p name, p price, and p entry date. ID is auto generated and product name, product price, and product entry date. This will be system date and time. I'm going to stay, store my get. So my, my application completed. My task is next, I will go to package management console or package management window, and I will add new get package, manage new get package for solution. Guys, uh, creating this kind of project and nowadays I'm little bit busy with my different stops so i'm not able to create so many videos even also shorts so please uh, pardon me on that for browse section i'm going to system.data.sql client and this one first one i'm going to install in my in my project click on accept it will get installed yeah it got installed next go to the solution explorer upon your app setting here we need to add our connection string right so i'm adding my constant string as default connection which is my database server name my local table local database server this is database name this is your id and password this is this is my server name okay and my table name is tbl product next i'm going to create a model to fetch the data so i'm going to add a new folder or models so here i'm going to add a new model which is a product model And I'm going to keep my same properties integer strings, integer string floor and date and time. So I'm keeping like this. Product ID, this will be ID, product name, this will be P name, product price. So let's copy paste. It will be decimal and date and time, which will be entry date. So, this is my model is created. Now, let's add our own controller, which is I'm going to add our own product controller. Add controller, API controller, click on add. Guys, sometimes my mic is not working, so if it is getting some lag, please forgive me. So I'm giving a product controller because my, I'm going to save to my product table, which is TBL product. 
now i'm going to create my own route so i just no need of this route so i'm going to create my route which is get all product guys i'm not keeping in dalval obj or three tire next session if you want please suggest me in the uh, comment below okay i'm keeping one read only i configurations next here i'm going to keep my constructor right next in this section i'm going to keep my model list and returning this one so i'll be writing like this list product model which will be my list product models and it will be return okay it will return this model right now i have to write my sql command to get the record inside this i am keeping one sql data table and it some dot data i am adding this it requires system dot data dot sql client okay now what it it is using model right so default connection product db and fetch I, I can directly return this dt also so like this or else i can directly loop it so for now i am looping for like this So you can see it is adding like this so here i have id and p name and we have p price pm entry date so let's modify like this p name p price p entry date right now run the application this is the way to insert next i will add one more api which will be a post api so i am adding a post api which will be to and it will be returning object right so no need to do this kind of things here anything Straightforward, I can write insert into my table name, which is TBL product. Product name, product price, and entry date. So, product name will be my object dot product name, and product price will be my object dot product price so let's keep it at try catch for now guys for using like this you can also do your up, update and delete operation right so i'm keeping right now yes. for now i'm keeping get all product and post product if time allow we will do update and edit also i am keeping my videos in between the 15 minute length so it will not bore you basically i feel bored if the video is much more lengthy so definitely it will open our story wide and we will first test the get all product then we'll test the post product then again we'll test the get all product 
right so swagger let's see swagger is running or not yeah swagger ui is open so get all product so try it out execute you can see this data is coming serving green face wash face screen like this now let's post the product and try it out and i'm adding my product name is uh, let's say press gel price will be let's say 300 and execute it got added let's again see the get pro all product okay i did something wrong okay i missed something i missed execute non-query guys <laughs> One dot open okay i missed this one one dot close so this will be connect one dot close in between this command dot execute none query right okay we will do the same thing now run i missed this line three line now run and we'll see the post product Post product let's try it out and press gel and it will be 30 dollar we can execute something value something okay i missed this one again guys to keeping on time it's getting missed every time So let's see now our post product try it out with some price click on execute now let's see the database okay now go to our get all product click on try it out execute can see as it is coming using the same way we can use update product also like this and keeping same okay. update product p name equal to this one and ID equal to obj dot product ID right now run the application we will see the option. then we will close the session guys I hope it will be useful for you those who are working with legacy product and those who want to implement ad.net in their small application because I believe nowadays maximum people are so if i go to try it out and execute i have a product i have entered this one each facial 13 so 11 id so now if i go to update product and try it out and id will be 11 and it will be face mask and price will be let's say 100 now click on execute now previously it is you can send 300 and press gel now again we will go to execute and we'll see how it is coming press marks and 100 so i hope it helped you working on area.net guys if you like this video please give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much